Example five here is a follow-up to example four. So if you haven't just watched example four, you really need to understand example four before you can uh, make some sense of example five. So the situation back then was we have a basketball team with 10 players and each player were worried about how long it will be until she experiences some kind of injury because that is unfortunately what happens with basketball teams is every now and then a player gets injured. And we're interested in finding the expected time until the team's first injury. So let me remind you what we figured out in example four. Um, we figured out that the time until the team's first injury, the first injury means we're looking at y sub one, the minimum time until an injury among all those players. And so we figured out in example four, the density function for f of y sub one, which I'll remind you was two e to the negative two y. Um, so two e to the negative two y. Now that's the density function for y sub one. And that came from quite a bit of work in example four. So I'm not gonna repeat that. But uh, if you think that that's coming out of left field, just uh, I'm kind of mixing my sports metaphors. This is a basketball team, and so nothing should come out of left field. But anyway, um, go back and look at example four, and that should all make sense to you. Um, so I want to find the expected value of y1. And so what I do, well, there's a quick way to do this, and I'm going to hold off on that. I'm going to do it kind of the, using the definition, and then we'll go back and we'll see how we could have found the expected value very quickly. Um, but uh, let me find the expected value uh, sort of not using any special cleverness here. Remember, it's the integral of y times f of y dy. And so in this case, it's the integral of y times my f of y is 2e to the negative 2y dy. And uh, so I need to do a little integration by parts to make that work. Let me go ahead and integrate by parts. Um, I'm going to use tabular integration because I'm feeling lazy. So e to the negative 2y. Take derivatives on the left. 2y takes the, the derivative of that is 2. Derivative of a constant is 0. And the integral of e to the negative 2y is negative 1 half e to the negative 2y. Integral of that is positive 1 fourth e to the negative 2y plus minus. And so the integral there is, um, let's see, 2y times negative 1 half is um, negative y e to the negative 2y uh, minus 2 over 4. So that's 1 half e to the negative 2y. And I'm evaluating this over the whole range of y, which I neglected to mention before. y goes from 0 to infinity. Of course, you can figure that out by looking at the exponential distribution or by sort of understanding the physical setup, setup of the problem. Uh, the time until the first injury could be as small as 0 if you get an injury right away. Or it could uh, be arbitrarily long. If you're lucky, your basketball team will play for 50 years without ever getting injured. Uh, it's unlikely, but uh, you would certainly hope for that. So we're integrating this from y equals 0, or evaluating this from y equals 0 to infinity. And now if we plug in y equals infinity, uh, we, these exponential terms are going to drag everything to 0. Uh, you could do a little L'Hopital's rule on that, or you could just know that exponential terms in the denominator always beat polynomials. Um, so I'm not even going to worry about my exponential terms. They're both 0, 0 minus 0. But if I plug in y equals 0, I get 0 for the first term. And then the second term, I get plus, because uh, it's minus a negative, plus 1 half e to the 0, plus 1 half e to the 0, which is 1 half. What that means is that if you're this basketball team coach and you're wondering, you know, how long is it going to be until I have an injury, see an injury in one of my players, so the expected time, expected time, of course you hope not to injure anyone ever, but the expected time until your first player gets injured is one half a year 
six months. That's not so good. Dangerous sport. Stay away from it. Um, if you've got 10 people on the court playing at the same time and you keep them playing hard, chances are in about six months you're going to see your first injury. Uh, so that's the unfortunate consequence of uh, the probability here of having 10 people play basketball at once. So I mentioned that there was actually a quick way to figure this out. And let me show you now how we could have done, uh, could have saved a lot of work here, which is to look back at that, um, at that distribution that we had there. And notice that this is another exponential distribution. This is exponential. Let me remind you of the form of an exponential distribution. It has density function f of y is equal to 1 over beta e to the negative y over beta. That's the, uh, that's the density function for an exponential distribution. What we have is something that exactly matches that if we take our beta equal to 1 half because 1 over 1 half is exactly 2. So we have an exponential distribution here. Um, so, the expected value of the exponential distribution, the mean of the exponential distribution, is, remember, beta. This is a property we learned about the exponential distribution long ago when we were studying the gamma distribution. That was because beta, uh, the exponential distribution was a special case of the gamma family. So mu equals beta is one half. And that's really all we needed to do if we had noticed that. We could have saved ourselves from walking through that long integration by parts. I guess it wasn't that bad, but it's really useful to recognize a distribution if it does fall into one of your known families and to um, be able to draw some conclusions about it right away. Uh, let me generalize this a little bit. We already have our answer here. We know that it's going to be about six months until our team's first injury. At least that's our expected time. Um, let me mention where that two came from. If you kind of look back at example four, where that two came from was it just came from the 10 divided by the five. 10 was the number of players on the team and five was uh, the, the mean of the original distribution. And so that one half in turn, that one half came from the five divided by the 10, which in turn, the five was the beta, the mean of the original distribution, and um, 10 was the number of players, so beta over n. So in general, if uh, y1 um, up through yn, I'm going to try to write this in general here without making reference to specific numbers. In general, if y1 through yn are exponential, with mean beta, then, let me write that beta a little more clearly, then y1, the minimum of the yi's, the minimum of y1 through yn, is exponential and we can say what the mean of that is with the new mean is going to be beta over n. And that is not too surprising if you kind of think about this basketball player example. If I have 10 players, on the average, each one gets injured every five years. So if I'm sitting around waiting for one of them to get injured, which I, I hope I'm not, but maybe I'm the team doctor and I'm wondering when I'm going to have a job to do. Uh, on the average, if there's 10 people, each one getting injured every five years, on the average, you're going to have one getting injured every half year. So that's really not surprising. That's just 10 divided by, or five divided by 10. Um, so, if you start out with an exponential distribution with mean beta and cobble together n of them and look at the minimum, then it's exponential with mean beta over n. So that's, uh, that's not too surprising if you kind of think about the basketball players.
So that wraps up example five. Let me review the steps here. Uh, kind of the key step here came from example four, where we identified uh, y1 is the minimum of these yi's. Remember, yi is the time for each player to get injured, which hopefully is long. Uh, y1 is the first player to get injured. So y1 is what you're worried about as a coach. You don't want any of your players to get injured. So you worry about when it will be until your first player gets injured and maybe forces you to change your team strategy. So you, we calculated the minimum. And back in example four, we calculated the density function for the minimum as 2e to the negative 2y. Now, the long way to find the expected value of that is to use the definition of expected value. So the definition of expected values says you integrate y times the density function. And so that's what I did there. I dropped in the density function and I did the integral using integration by parts. Uh, if that tabular integration was unfamiliar to you, I cover that in my Calculus 2 lectures here on educator.com. So you can look at the Calculus 2 lectures and you can um, you can find uh, a section on integration by parts and it shows you a little shorthand trick there. And when I plugged in the infinity, they all dropped out. When I plugged in zero, I got exactly one half. And so my expected time is one half a year, which I translated into six months. That was the long way. The short way is to look back at this density function and say, wait a second, I recognize that as an exponential distribution. It's just an exponential distribution with a new beta. Beta is one half. And so if you know your exponential distribution, you know the mean is just beta. And so I could have immediately jump to my answer there of one half a year without ever having to do that integral and all that integration by parts. And then I extrapolated that a little bit because I figured out that that one half came from uh, five over 10. That was, if you go back and look at example four, you'll see that that, uh, that two came from 10 over five and then the one half came from one over uh, two. So in turn, that comes from five over 10. The five and 10 come from the original problem so the 5 was the beta and the 10 was the n. There's the n and there's the beta. And so the 1 half came from beta over n. So we have an exponential distribution with beta equals, uh, the new beta is the old beta divided by the old n. And so there's, that's a general principle there. If you have n exponential variables with the mean of beta, then their minimum will be exponential again with mean beta over n. That's a very useful property. And it kind of explains this idea of if you're wondering when your first player will get injured, well, every player gets injured on average once every five years. So if you've got 10 players, you're going to have people getting injured once every six months on average. That's just uh, five years divided by 10 gives you the six months. It gives you half a year. So that kind of explains and sort of justifies and uh, reassures that all of our mathematics is correct there. So that wraps up our lecture here on order statistics. This is part of the larger series on probability here on educator.com. I'm your host along the way. My name is Will Murray, and I thank you very much for joining me today. Bye-bye now.